Marijuana is now legal or for either recreational or medical use in 33 states. But now there's a new warning about car crashes involving use of the drug. A AAA study looked at 10 years of traffic deaths in Washington state. It found the number of drivers involved in fatal crashes who were high on marijuana has more than doubled since pot was legalized there in 2012. As Chris Van Cleve reports, the organization says states must do more to stop stoned drivers. Good morning. Marijuana dispensaries like this one are all over Los Angeles, and AAA is increasingly worried about what happens when people get stoned and then get behind the wheel. 16-year-old Chad Britton was walking to his car during lunch when he was hit and killed in front of his high school by a teen driver high on pot. He was a beautiful soul. They'd do anything for anyone. AAA's Jake Nelson worries the rate of driving stoned is reaching a new high as legalized cannabis becomes more widely available. If you're going to use marijuana, you shouldn't drive. And if you know you have to drive, you should not use marijuana in any shape or form. Why do you drive around smoking? You know that's not a good idea, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. Dash camera video shows the kinds of run-ins with potentially high drivers Washington State Police say are happening more often. Very common. We run into it every day. State Patrol Lieutenant Bruce Meyer says drivers often mix pot with booze or with other drugs. It affects your cognitive abilities, your decision making. It slows down your reaction times. Research from 2018 shows crashes overall were up 6% in Washington, Nevada, and Oregon compared to neighboring states where marijuana is banned. Recreational pot is now legal in 11 states, and it's allowed for medical use in 22. In a recent survey of more than 11,000 Colorado drivers, 69% of people who identified as cannabis users said they had driven high in the last year, and 10% believed they drove better while stoned, leading to PSAs like these. The police can't tell that I'm driving high. AAA says states need a two-tier system to determine who is too high to drive, testing for both recent use and evidence of impairment. Laws that limit how much THC can be in a person's blood as a driver are completely meaningless in terms of allowing us to predict how impaired somebody is behind the wheel. AAA opposes the legalization of recreational marijuana, saying it presents a danger to auto safety. Normal, a group that lobbies for the expanded legalization of marijuana, takes issue with AAA's findings, saying the increase in stops is due to an increase in people testing for the presence of marijuana, and that marijuana can be detectable in the body even days after it's ingested. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Chris Van Cleve, Los Angeles. Who are the 10% of people who think they drive better while high? Do not, not something to laugh at, but that's, no, that's not an odd thing. No, not people you want on the here. road. Yeah, right. No, exactly. right.